Hello, anyone? It's just guys in here, and welcome back to more Cloud Punk. The last time we went to the races, and then we got our own ride repaired and refueled. We are good to go. And then, Ron, you wanted coffee. Today, we get that coffee and listen to our dog talk about history. Let's go. I feel like this is a game that would be really weird to just take moments like that out of context. Also, yeah, we're in a new place, different from where we were before. I did a little bit of exploration around the map. Not a lot, because I got lost. That's also why we are where we are. Uh, well, on the mini-map it shows that we're not too far from the destination, but uh, that's to get to a new area. But, I just happened to find more of these. So there's the final one. I left that there. So now we just gotta go back to Evelyn, wherever Evelyn may be. Because again, we're lost. I wanted to try to go to the Marrow, see if I could sell some things. I couldn't find it. So for now, let's just do plot. I did manage to get my money up a little bit. Oop, refueled us, and have since used up a little bit of fuel. A few more items around. Uh, the one on the minimap, it's like right over there. It's another one of the little punch cards. Uh, those are all over the place, so if you ever wonder, like, if you play the game yourself and you're wondering, Oh, should I use a guide to find them? No. They're just all over the place, the little punch cards. Yep, to the midtown. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Off we go. And I like the little dramatic moment the camera angle and all when it sends you into and onto those all right oh evelyn's in the region all right let's take a pit stop go see evelyn now that we have her on the map because i get the feeling we're gonna have a whole lot of dialogue going on once we get that coffee maybe either that or we'll make another totally legal delivery someplace oh yeah we're home Wow. <laughs> Small world. Again, this is a very dense game, a very dense world stuff all over the place. It's apparently very easy to get lost in all of this. Yeah, uh, between episodes, managed to wander around, picked up many things, have sold a few. Uh, the broken augment sold for like 240. And I think different people, like different vendors and all, will buy things for different amounts. So it's one of those things, uh, you go to different areas and you'll make a lot more money. Evelyn? I have more of the punch cards for you. They're really spread around the city. I think these ones are pretty intact. Dr. Zizic was careful. She punched them out of nanofibers. They'd survive a bomb blast. Thank you. This is enough to partially recompile my memories. I don't understand, Evelyn. These cards hold your memories? How? Dr. Zizic knew that almost any storage medium could be recovered with a standard corpse set comprehender. They can decode and read almost any storage medium, from a transistor drive to a DNA crystal encoding. But not punch cards? Yes, not punch cards. They are too old. However, their information storage capacity is tiny. They can't store whole memories, then? No but they can hold a crypto key that can decode the memories I already have, though it will take some time to unlock them. Why do you think Dr. Zizic locked your memories away? And why are you worried about CorpSec being able to read them? Perhaps next time we speak, I will be able to answer those questions. I need more time. And more punch cards. Please bring me any you find. Ah, right then. As they were talking, I was getting the impression that yes, we would have to go find more, so I guess I'll have to go back and get that other card I had mentioned. But yeah, that's one of the reasons I wanted to go to the Marrow, because, uh, where is it? There we go, the Fisherman. Popular in the Marrow, so I figured maybe I could take it there and try to sell it. Got a little bit of extra money. I don't think you would get much from it anyway, because it's just a magazine, but hey. Any bit of money you can squeeze out of something is good money. Right now we are up to 3200, and that's not bad. That's, oh, uh, what? What have I done with it? I got more repairs, because I got a little bit dinged up. And I refueled, because we were almost out. 
I think that's about all that I did. I also happened to see, I think last time, uh, one of the shops had a dress that we could buy. I don't think I pointed out the price to it, but it's almost 1500 money. That's an expensive dress. I totally want to get it though. <laughs> Just to have somebody wandering around in a nice dress in a cyberpunk world. <laughs> I just think that would be funny. I also found somebody selling, I think, a cybernetic arm for nearly 6,000. I don't know what the deal is with that. Onward. Maybe we can upgrade Rania and turn her into a owl cyborg. Yeah, I'm still getting used to driving this thing. I'm not good at a flying junkie. Especially in this kind of traffic. It'd be nice if the camera were tilted up ever so slightly so I could see in front of me. Yeah, this is a huge world we're in, though. Or a very dense world. Maybe I was going in circles and I just didn't realize. I managed to get to the waterfront area, which I think is near where the marrow is, but I never could find a sign saying the marrow. So, maybe I was there, maybe I wasn't. Oh, I also... Old... Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm still getting paid for finding areas. You can just go down every little nook and cranny and still find new places. It's kind of neat. But I regret that I wasn't recording when I was going about everything on my own. Because I saw a couple of cutscenes. Well, cutscenes. Quotations. Um... Okay, just gonna go this way then. Oh, we're at the coffee place. Yeah, I... I came across some places that may have been here in, in Old Town. But I was just walking along, gathering items, and then suddenly I saw some of the buildings collapsing. That was kind of cool. Like the camera even changed to show them specifically. Like, oh no, it's collapsing. Uh, where's that pee? Oh, way over here. Neat looking buildings. Yeah, I've not been to this area. I didn't thoroughly explore some areas, because I didn't want to risk finding anything new and being like, oh no, I'm not recording. I should be recording for this. So now all this is going to be new stuff for me. So let's, uh, <laughs> go back this way. I'm probably going to find more of the punch cards, maybe other items on my own time. Camera? Okay. Wait. That was very awkward. What the heck was that? Okay, yeah, the camera just completely flipped. Man, that needs some work. Okay, we got an item over here. We will still gather items as we find them. There's another punch card. But for the most part, I'm just going to be gathering up that stuff between episodes, because that's a lot of tedious work. Flying around, finding places, parking. Here's what I could offer you today. One place was an absolute maze I went through. Candy bar, yellow shades, the fisherman. Yeah, I managed to buy one from somebody for, I think, 18. So I could technically make profit selling it Thanks. to him, but no. I look forward to seeing you again. I like this guy. He's sharply dressed and has nice hair. Of course, he's also an android, but I feel like in a world like this, that doesn't necessarily matter. What are you? Remote detonator. Oh, should I be carrying this? Oh. Bring suspicious item to corpse sack. Ooh. Okay then. Hang on. I'm not even where I need to be anyway. I don't know why I was going this way. I guess I was just looking for loot. My destination's way off over here. <laughs> Dynamite Simpson? Uh, we can deal with you later. But first, I've apparently got a quest. Oh, oh camera. Could you not? Corpse sack. I found a thing. This, I thought I should hand it in to the authorities, or someone who might know what to do with it. Ma'am, what is this? I don't know. I found it. I think it might be. Give it to me now. Yes, I was just going to. I came to you. <laughs> is this some kind of scam? You know what? I'm just going to leave. What does this button do? Oh no. No idea. Bye then. Stay here. I am going to get to the bottom of this. You go ahead. I have no idea what that button does, though, so for safety's sake, I suggest you... Hmm, nothing happened. Did you just press that? I literally just said, 
Nothing happened again. Stop pressing the button. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm going to ask you to step back, please. Fine. I don't want to be around you while you press a big red button on what looks a lot like a detonator anyway. Wait. Something happened. Ugh. A light came on. There's words on the screen. What does it say? I can't read it. Let me see. Here. I can read this. It's Arabic. And? It says, please don't press this button again. Oh. I swear, that's what it says. All right, then. Well, I'd better ask my supervisor about this. Uh, please move along, ma'am. Does your supervisor speak Arabic? No. Why? No reason. <laughs> All right, then. I don't know what that was about, but, um... <laughs> that was a good bit of comedy. Please stop pressing the button on what looks to be a detonator. You might kill us all. Alright, so the destination is off this direction, but due to only having access to the minimap, I don't know if I am where I need to be. If I go through you, will I wind up over there? Yes, I will. Alright, coffee guy. But I see an item, so hold on. Also, yes, I am missing talking to some of the people. We can talk to them in a little bit. I want some items. Give me that loot. Ooh, Bastille. Oh, oh, yep, there it goes. That's some of what I was seeing before. Just randomly, some of the buildings. Just falling apart, leaning into others. Some of them were a lot closer than that. It was a lot more dramatic, but still, that is cool. It's like a living world, or I suppose a dying world would be more apt. Cyberpunk, eh? Ooh, microchips. Uh, memory chips. Same thing, different era. Diamond? I've been seeing a lot of diamond lately. I wonder what that is. A lot of graffiti. Pixelated graffiti. Uh, I don't... Ooh! Another one of these. Alright. Now then, back to coffee. Donya? Don't mind if I do. How you doing? Excuse me, I see you sell old... stuff. Do you know what this is? Boss it here. Let's see. Hmm. Oh my. What is it? I thought maybe an old music storage. Music? No, not at all. This is a game. An old one at that. Where did you find it? Actually, it was near some trash. No, I don't believe it. So it's an antique. Oh yes. This was played on a Spectrum home computer. 48K. You needed an interface to make the joystick work. Kempstern or Protec. Otherwise, you had to play on the rubber keys. Even the words I understood in that sentence didn't make sense. <laughs> it's like this, you see. You put this tape into a tape recorder first and... Nope. Still no clue. Long ago, information was stored on magnetic tapes. You see the strips here? These wound round playheads or something like that. No one knows exactly how it operated now. But we can feed this into our comprehender and it gives us executable code. So, this was a game people played on a screen? Oh yes, it would take a long time to upload the data to memory. And the executable data itself is tiny. It's hard to comprehend how our progenitors managed to work within such strict memory constraints. You're really into this stuff, aren't you? I'm interested in the technology, sure. But what really fascinates me is this game. You controlled a little sprite. You walked along a street and you punched everyone you came across. <laughs> we believe these old games were deeply symbolic, like Sisyphus with the rock. So they were morality lessons? We collectors believe so. I think every one of these classic games can teach us a lesson. What did punching people in the street teach us? Metaphorically, it is telling us that we cannot simply fight urban decay through physical force. You see, in this game, when you win, you start again. So the cycle repeats. Exactly. So through the game, we learn that the violence is entertainment, but the creator of the game seeks to tell us that violence is also pointless. These old games were pretty deep. How did this end up lying on the street? There's plenty of other street vendors who are collectors like me. One of them, Old Sinclair, he died last week. And you're not really allowed to own this stuff. If Corpsec catches you... Oh, I'm sorry about Mr. Sinclair. He was in the zone that fell into the sea last month. Can't be helped. 
You should keep your eye out for more of these. They may be scattered all over the city. You'll pay me for them? I sure will, as long as you keep it quiet. In fact, I can even show you this one if you like. It has a two-player mode. We can punch people in the street together. Maybe another time. Just the limbs are fine. Oh, nice. So there actually was something to that. I did not expect to <laughs> actually find someone to explain that. And I like that. Like, talking about, like, all the stuff collapsing in the background. Like, his sector or whatever fell off into the ocean. I thought about that when I first saw it. There are people in those buildings when that happens, and then they just kind of fall off into the ocean or what have you. And then life just goes on, because this is cyberpunk world. Nobody cares. That's some heavy stuff, yo. Neo? Neo Cafe Coffee Guy. I saw you looking at me from over there. I was just going to ask if this was the only coffee place in this zone. I'm from out of town, and this coffee is... Like Hova oil? Well, I was going to say it's below average, but yeah. No, this is the only place. I've been coming here since I was in my teens. You look like you're still in your teens. It's the coffee. It's stunned in my growth. <laughs> so, you're actually... 75. Well, Grandpa, it was nice to meet you. Uh, hey, uh, wait up. What's your name? I'm Rania. I drive deliveries. And I've got another job coming up, so... Do you... Uh, want to do something? Are you asking me on a date? No. I mean, all right, we could just do something and see what happens. Do something. How specific? We could... Come on, coffee guy. What could we do? Bowling. Ew. <laughs> Shooting? I know a range downtown. They let you fire the big pulse rifles. I don't like pulse rifles or any guns, really. They tend to get aimed at people a lot we only shoot targets i believe the humans and the targets can coexist peacefully uh what about pizza better what kind artichoke and avo from the new hipster place uptown oh a swing and a miss sorry coffee guy maybe some other time if i see you here again i'll have thought of something you like ranya we'll see delivery's still a little stiff with some of this but i like the light comedy going on and yeah again with the uh, lady and the old technology and all that's, that's something that I've always found kind of interesting and funny at the same time that the further along technology goes the more advanced everything becomes all the old stuff people are like how did this work because it's too simple for them to understand welcome to Neo's Neo Cafe I'm Neo what can I get you uh, coffee, apparently. Nivacino? Hot chocolate? Soda? Well, that is the cheapest thing on the menu. That's good. Thanks for this, Neo. Have a spectacular day. Menu 2, Neo. Okay, we got coffee. Quest update. Or do I need to actually drink it? How drink coffee? Gummus! Is that you? Camus, why are you calling me on the comm? I'm on a coffee break here. I have a reason. Is the reason that you don't like being alone? Yes, that is it. Is it okay? It's fine. I'm glad of the company. Why do you need the coffee? I've never worked night shift before, Camus. Coffee creates the illusion that I'm actually still awake. You wouldn't understand. You don't sleep. I sleep. I guess you go offline and recompile your source code. That's a bit like sleeping. I sleep. Okay, I heard you. Tell me what you found out about Cora. I found three different types of things about... Camus, this data analysis and retrieval, it's not that you can't do it, it's just it's a bit... dry. Why don't we let the generic automata take care of this part? You can go offline for a bit. Sleep! Sure. Custom personality Camus offline. Generic automata reinstated. All right, Mr. Personality. Tell me what we know about Cora now. Three distinct data points of origin for Cora. Two, deprecated and accessible only via the underweb. 
Warning, your automata was detected accessing this information and your identity was compromised. Shit. Well, too late to do anything about it now. Tell me what you found. Give me the official data first. Cora is a term colloquially used by citizens of Nivalis to refer to the combination of AI and mechanical systems, which manage the logistical and maintenance systems operating throughout the city. I knew that much. Go on. As an anthropomorphism of a mercurial personality, it is unclear if Cora exhibits a form of sentience or sapience. <laughs> Best data suggests Cora is fundamentally inconceivable by human intelligence, existing just beyond the event horizon of biological minds. Not helpful at all. Why do people keep talking about Cora then? Day-to-day -day usage of Cora in conversation invokes the term in the same way one might talk about fate, luck, or serendipity. Example. I checked my balance, and I'm all out of credits. Cora knows where it all went. There are two more data points for Cora? Yes. One from City Archive in a defunct data pool called the Internet. Another from a paper-based text called The Exegesis, a pseudo-historical book scanned and OCR'd 109,572.75 days ago. Read me the extract of the exit whatever. Reigning atop a hierarchy of smaller automatons, VIs, androids, and machines, Korra is the last of the 12 founders. Complex AIs that formed an advisory council for the human rulers of the city. Why did the founders fail? Did their source code encounter insurmountable logical errors? Or, worst of all, did the founders choose to abandon humanity? And if so, will Korra soon make that same choice? What's your confidence rating on the accuracy of this information? 11.40%. Higher than I thought. Does everyone in the city know this stuff but me? Cora is commonly discussed, appearing in up to 0.8% of all communication, but little substantive, verifiable data exists as to its nature. Read me the last data, the one from the internet. Cora, computer-operated recycling agent. That's it? I don't know how this relates to hackers or AI. No further data available. Make a copy of that exegesis thing to local storage, encrypted. If I get a data violation, I don't want to lose access. And bring Camus back online. Activating custom automata personality, Camus. Did you find out about Cora? <sighs> More or less. I don't know what I was hoping for. Will you get food too? Not hungry. Hey, Camus, have a look at the cafe menu. Do you see all the different types? If you drank coffee, what type would you order? Uh, donut coffee? That's not really... Oh, no. I said something dumb. Actually, Camus, I think donut coffee sounds pretty great. Wouldn't that just be... Oh. Oh, vehicle upgrades. Nice. The donut coffee just sounds like it would be a lot of sugar. And is that a hand? That looks like a severed hand. Bone and everything. It's human hand. So it is. Why did I pick up a human hand? That's... Concerning. What? A cherry pie seller. One slice, please. Oh, wait. Are those real cherries? Well, they ain't holograms, lady. Yeah, but where would you get real cherries in Navalis? Lots of places. Orchards up in the spire, growing beds down in the vents, one of those labs that grow cultured retro fruit. I'm not talking hypothetically here. Where did you get those cherries? Wherever you like, lady. I find the best way to enjoy the flavor comes from tasting with your imagination. And I find the best way to avoid food poisoning is to know where my cherries come from. I swear, these taste exactly like cherries. That is not a normal thing to say about actual cherries. You want a slice or not? Yes. N no. I can't decide. Have you even tasted real cherries before? Back home, they were my favorite. The Eastern Peninsula? Yeah. 
Well, you'll love this pie. A genuine slice of home. What do you say? No, actually, I'm good. Suit yourself, country girl. Can and will. Also, yay, getting paid to find places. I don't know how that works. Control. Driver 14 FC, are you out of your hava? I was on a break. There are no breaks for me or for you. Have you seen the vids? No, why? More accidents in Sector 21. No, uh, Sector 23. Or is it 21? Bombings? Not sure. This is bad for us. We've lost more drivers this week than in the past year. Everything okay, Control? I don't know, kid. I don't know. What's your real name? I'm tired of numbers. Rania. I'm gonna look out for you, Rania. Things will get better after tonight. I promise. We just need to get through this one night. What's your name, Control? I'm not supposed to say. Goddamn. Is something going wrong over there? You sound... It's all wrong here. I just... Maybe I'll tell you after this job. Okay. What you got for me? In Gallows Row, there's an old escalator called the Ascension. Someone at the base wants to surrender a package of their belongings. Where does the escalator go? Trust me, Rania. This job will be much easier for you if you don't ask that question again. You're looking for a guy named Gil. Oh, and one more thing. Yeah? Enjoy your coffee. All I got is a bottle of sake stashed in my desk drawer. And tonight, I'm having a drink. If they're not happy with that, they can fucking fire me. Cheers. Fascinating, Control. Ha. Huh. He seems like he's a decent guy just stuck in a really bad job. Gil? <laughs> just... Okay. By pure chance, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> what are the odds? Are you the delivery person? Rania, yeah, I'm to take your package. It's everything. The limbs, calm, holocrons, augments. Everything I own. Make sure my family gets it. Just drop it in the post. I can't leave the queue or I'll lose my place. Are you sure about this? Yeah. A chance to see the spire. I, I gotta take the shot. I get to go above the clouds. Is it safe? Sure, yeah. Of course. Okay then. Good luck, I guess. Hey, thanks. Maybe I'll see you around. Maybe. If we ever have to make a delivery to the spire. Man, that is a wild coincidence though. I was just traveling around while they were doing the talking and just came this way. Control. Hey, Rania, you met that guy going on the Ascension? Is he really going through with it? He says the Ascension takes him to the Spire. It sure does. And no further. What do you mean? It's an escalator to nowhere. It just ends. Then what? Well, then he falls a few miles down into the sea. Who would build an escalator that goes nowhere? You think everything in the city is logical? Look around, Rania. None of this makes sense. The city AI has gone mad. He said it was safe. Before he gave you all his possessions? He knew? He knew. I don't get it. You lived outside Navalis, right? So you've, you've seen the sky. You've got that memory. I've never seen the sky. I can live without it. But imagine you'd seen it just once. What would you do to see it again? <sighs> How's the sake control? You don't drink, right? You should try it sometime, Rania. When things are going wrong, it's a great way to keep yourself trapped in the long right now. Are you a poet now, Control? You know it. What should I do with his possessions? Well, he stiffed us on the bill. His payment was rejected. So if you got anything from him, you should return it to a Cloudpunk delivery chute nearby to cover his debt. What about his family? Let me make this as clear as I can, Rania. I don't know if he gave you something or if he gave you nothing. But I knew if he gave you something, I'd have to tell you to return it to Cloudpunk HQ. 
Control out. Uh-huh. He sounded different. Are we going to take Gil's things back to Cloudpunk HQ? Well, everything's packaged and postmarked. So, if we dropped them at the mail office, they'd get back to his family and Cloudpunk would never know. But maybe it would be good for us to give it to Cloudpunk? And if we broke the rules, we could get in trouble. Or get Mr. Control in trouble. Quiet for now, Camus. I have to think. Yeah. More of the moral dilemmas and stuff like that. Of course, he was giving us the choice in all of that. If he gave us anything, we could easily say, well, we got there and he didn't actually have anything for us. And yeah, isn't that a thing? An escalator that takes you up gives you one last look at the world above, or your first look at the world above. And then you just fall to your doom. Maybe you survive in the water, but he said you'd be falling for miles. Probably not. Man, rough stuff. Hey, you interested in having your photo taken with this magnificent creature? Just 100 limbs. No. Wouldn't you like to know his name? He is Norman. Hi, Norman. Is he a real bird? Norman isn't a bird. He's a falcon. A real one? Well, he's not a hologram. But is he a real falcon or is he artificial? <laughs> ah, I understand your question now. Uh, you must think this is based on an animal. This is not. It is a unique creation, a falcon. I've seen falcons before. No, you must be mistaken. Perhaps you have seen a sparrow. They are very similar. You see, I specialize in chimeras. What are chimeras? Well, you know, there's a huge market for artificial animals, especially those that are rare or extinct. Chimeras are different. They are artificial animals which uh, never existed, created from the imagination of man. But I told you, I've seen a real falcon. Eh? Where? Well, they're extinct now, I guess, but I saw them all the time when I was young. I'm from the Eastern Peninsula. They would circle around the farm in the summer, until the big dust storms hit back in the Year of the Dragon. Listen, lady, I need you to do me a favor. Uh, okay. What? Please leave, and don't tell anyone that there are real falcons, huh? Sure, but why does it make any difference? When people know they're looking at something that once existed instead of something that never could, they get depressed. And sad people don't spend money. Well, maybe they do, if they want to spend money to no longer be sad. I mean, there's the booze industry. Haha! <laughs> But yeah, uh, I was going to say, before all of the dialogue started pouring in on us, I finally started figuring out more about the minimap, all the little icons, the little bluish boxes, whatever those are, their little packages, items, things you can find, obviously. You get the little people heads, there's Jimmy, he's a people head. The destination icons, obvious. But then some of them, I was a little bit unsure about early on. Uh, you get the vehicle thing, I think that's where our ride is I uh, don't remember how to get to it oh my yeah, it's got the little arrows on it that was throwing me off a little bit early on because I would be seeing so many icons the arrows are just telling you hey this thing is this altitude you just got to go up or down accordingly and so that's a nice little detail because it's a really freaking dense world ah here we go we're back I could do a little bit more exploration, but I want to go deliver this package. I suppose to Cloudpunk. We could do the nice thing, but I don't want to get in trouble with my job. Um, there's a thing? Is this... Are we at Cloudpunk, or is this the post? Yeah, I don't see Cloudpunk labeling. Yeah, that's, uh... That's what he wanted me to do. I want to do what Cloudpunk want me to do. Alright, so I have wandered all over the place. I cannot seem to find my way back to Cloudpunk. You gotta love these cyberpunk cities. Let's just drop it off there. I can't do it, Camus. I can't give away Gil's final possessions to settle his debts. Will we get in trouble? I don't care. 
I really, really wanted to take it to Cloud Punk, but I tried looking around. I could not find it. The destination markers, they would only take me to the post boxes. I could do nothing for it. I don't like that. I hope it doesn't come back to bite me. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe upgrading my ride will pick us up. Hey, Grandia. Uh, um, are you there? Yo. Yeah. You don't sound good, Control. What? Well, I'm fine. I, uh, if I could just sleep. I used to be able to sleep, you know. Are you sure you're okay? What is wrong with him? I think he's had some drinks. <laughs> he sounds strange. Like he is confused. Uh, broadcasting nav point. Collect the package, 14 FC. Uh, get on with it. Who from? Where am I going? Always questions from you. Just do your goddamn job. Control out. Um. <laughs> control? Uh, if I'm going to deliver, I need to know... Who, what, where, how? I, I have to ask these questions. Yeah, I, I think he's on the sauce right now. But, we'll do that next time. But right now, I want to upgrade my ride. We've been recording this for quite a while now. I spent way too long trying to look for Cloud Punk just then. Uh, also, I did have a happy accident. I hit the D-pad. There is a full map. That's kind of neat. All right. Oop. It's a very dense game. A lot of stuff to look at. A lot of things to experience. Very atmospheric game. I like that. All right. Do some repairs because I bumped into some things. Red tracer. Would that just change colors on it? Red contrail. Ooh. Vertical repulsor. Souped up repulsors with ceramic coils have almost no drag for quicker ascents. Oh, that sounds lovely. Yeah, I, I want that because I have felt this entire time it is so slow. Plasteel bumpers. Might put more dents into others. Ew, alright. I'll take that. Retro antenna? Uh, it seems mostly cosmetic, doesn't it? Looks like what they used in ancient times when antennas were actually needed. Purely cosmetic. Yes, it is. And these are probably also cosmetic. Speed booster. Um. Oh, what, like nitro? Uh, I think I'm good for now. I'm already running into enough stuff, but let's get a yellow tracer. Pretty cool. I've got a neon right now. Neon is the standard for most. I don't know what that means. What is that, like the bluish thing? Eh, I think we're good. Let's see what I do. Oh, I see already the little trails. That's kind of neat. I may go back to the neon, however. Cool as that is. Kind of blends in with all the lights. Hmm. So that was a slow paced roller coaster of adventure. We got to talk about old games, old tech that people don't understand. People taking escalators to see the last thing they'll ever see. And a drunk control. What a day. But anywho, this has been Cloud Punk. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.